Clark here, and this video is going to be about the 2021 AP Computer Science A FRQ number 3A. So in 3, we have a high school club, so we're going to work on club members. But club members, have, each member has, is a member object or a member, member info object. So what is a member info object? It stores the member's name, string name, the int grad year, and whether or not the member is in good standing. Okay, so we have the parcel declaration of member info and the stuff we're going to be using. So we have the constructor, which takes that name, the grad year, and good standing, string, int, and boolean. Then we have an accessor method for um, the grad year, int, uh, grad year. And then we have an accessor method for the in good standing boolean. So it looks like we don't need to uh, access the name in our, um, in our code. So we're just going to be using these three methods. There are more. There's probably the instance variables, but we don't have to worry about it. We just are going to be using these three. So we ha also have the club members class. That's where we're going to do our code. And we have the list of current club members. So it's a list, an array list of member infos called member list. So we're going to be using member list. OK, and then we have the um, signature method, sig uh, method signature for add members, which takes a, a string array, array of names, and the grad year. And then what about the has good standing? Uh, let's see what the directions say, what the um, prompt says. So we want to write the method add members, which takes two parameters that like we just talked about, a uh, string array containing names and the graduation year of all of them. So we're going to add a bunch at a time. So it's like we're adding all the seniors all at once. And then next year, seniors will add next. Um, and next time we call add members. But we also want, where is it? The names can be added in any order, so order doesn't matter. And all members added are initially in good standing. So good standing starts out as true. And they share the same graduation year. OK, so that looks pretty straightforward. So we're going to do add members. I set it up already over on the replet. I'm going to have the member info stuff open so I can reference this as I uh, write the code. So I want to add stuff to member list. So I can assume that member list is already um, set up. Member list is already set up. Uh, we don't need to initialize it. That would be what the constructor is. And we're not doing a constructor. We're just going to be using member list. So it says um, we're going to add new club members to member list. So it doesn't say we're going to have to, we have to initialize the new array list. No, that, that's what the constructor is. And we're not doing the constructor. So we're just going to loop over the names. So I'm going to loop like I normally do for int i equals zero. And you could do enhanced for loops, but I always, it's just my preference to do um, the the uh, for int i equals zero full for loop. And notice how we have dot length. We don't do dot length parenthesis parenthesis because names is array. We're not looping over the string. We're looping over the array. We're, we're going to add each name. So how do we add each name? So let's see. First, we have to create the name. So first thing we have to do is we have to um, say member info. So we're going to make a new member. Whenever I make a member info inside a loop, I'm just going to call it temp. We're temporarily making a new member info. And I'm going to match up this constructor here to where I have the name. So the name is going to be the current name. So names bracket I. We're going to be using the same grad year for all of them. Each time we call add members, it's going to be like one, one class adding. And then it says in the directions, they're all in good standing are initially in good standing. Yeah. So it's going to be true to match that Boolean. So again, I made a new member um, info. I'm going to add it to the member list. So I'm going to say, OK, member list. Add that temporary, temporary member. And I could check my um, quick reference. And how do I add stuff to an array list? Oh, yeah, just add, dot add. And that should be it. So we want to loop over the strings. We wanted to create a member info based on the prompt. And then we want to add it to the member list. And I have a I have a runner that should be working until we get to B. OK, so I added, I added A, B, C, and D in the year 2020, 2020, 22, whatever. OK, so B3B, we're not done yet. So it obviously doesn't work because there's a null stuff going on. So that's 3A. 